Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to make a simple cane wrapped pebble. This tutorial is inspired by Japanese wrapped stones and the idea of these stones is not only to be ornamental but also to have a calming effect. Okay so in order to follow along you're going to need a pebble, some cane, a large bowl of water, some masking tape, a stick or a twig, a yarn needle and if you have them an awl and some tweezers. You may also need a drop of glue. The more symmetrical and flatter the pebble the better and it also helps if the sides are relatively straight. The pebble that I'm using is approximately 9cm long. And for the cane I used number 3 chair cane which is 2.5mm wide. The length that I ended up using was 155cm. You could instead use string or leather cord. To begin you need to place your length of narrow chair cane into a large bowl of water and leave it to soak for 20 minutes or so. The reason for this is to make the cane flexible because without water the cane is rigid and brittle. Once soaked place the end of the cane under the pebble with the end on the left. Also make sure that the flat side of the cane is against the pebble. Throughout this process you can use your hands to keep the end of the cane in place or you can use some masking tape to help you. You want this cane to stick out by at least several inches. Place the stick or twig that you're using on top of the pebble, then lift the long end of the cane upwards and make a loop like so. Make sure the cane is not twisted within this loop and make sure the loop is going in the same direction as you are along the pebble. Take this loop around the stick, making sure that you're holding the stick and the cane and then tighten the cane to hold the stick in the right place. Then take the cane over the stick again and this time go around and underneath the pebble. Make sure you keep tension in the cane throughout. And you simply repeat that wrap over and over again, making sure that you leave a decent amount of cane at the end so you can secure it at the back of the pebble. So you bring the cane up, loop it around the stick, tighten, take it over the stick again, and under the pebble. You'll find that the first wraps are definitely the most fiddly. I personally did 7 wraps in total. Once you've finished, turn the pebble so you can look at the bag. Unfortunately when I was filming this my hands got in the way too much so what I'm going to do is show some photos of a previous pebble that I made and that might be a bit clearer. Before you start this step just make sure that your cane is still damp enough to be flexible. If it's not you'll need to spray it with water. Okay so the first thing you need to do is take the long end of the cane and push it underneath all of the horizontal strands except for the one furthest away. If you have an awl you can use that to help you. Then feed the cane down under all of the strands, then up over the strands and then down under the strands again and then over the strands again. Cut the excess cane off to leave you with at least half an inch, then tuck this last bit of cane under the strands to finish. I only had a tiny bit of cane left to tuck in and it kept popping out so I did use a dot of glue to secure it. It's really up to you how you finish the pebble, you just need to make sure that the ends of the cane are secure. And that's it, that's the cane wrapped pebble completed. I really hope you enjoyed this project and thank you very much for watching.